Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch right here on your Mac. So, the very first thing you have to do is hook up your device to your computer. Once you do that, using the USB cable that you have, just go right into Finder. Once you open up Finder, you're going to notice on the left-hand side, you're going to see locations. Or it might be closed, so there's a little arrow here. Just make sure to click on that arrow so you can see all locations. Some of you might just have network, for example, and then here comes my device. So this is my iPhone at the moment, and here it is. So from here, I can back this phone into my computer, so that way I don't have to use iCloud, which is paid for. Backing out to my Mac is completely free. And we can also check for updates, so update it to the latest iOS, whichever that is at the time that you're watching this video. I do want to mention, for those of you who are worried about your passwords and all that stuff, you can encrypt local backup as well. And yes, this is to protect passwords or any sensitive personal data, which yes, it's mostly passwords for everybody. So you can select that as well. And here we have two options, backup your most important data right here into iCloud, or you can choose to just backup everything on this Mac. For some of you, this will be your best option. Others do wanna back up some stuff into iCloud. For example, I have all my contacts on iCloud. I like that. So I'm gonna keep it that way for now. But you could choose the second option and before you back up or sync anything down here below you're going to see this just go throughout everything and see what you want to sync and what you don't want to sync maybe you don't want to sync any of your songs or videos that you have here on your computer into your phone or maybe you do that's the only one that i have checked on which is sync only check songs that's all i want to sync and that's usually what i always do but anyways, let's just go on into backing this up. So we're going to click on backup now on the right hand side. And here we go. We do have a lot of personal stuff in here, which does include passwords. For most of you, I would suggest just going with encryption. So go on and click there. You do have to put a password in order to protect this backup. And yes, you can just remember this password in your keychain, which is awesome. So we're just going to set that password. Now on your phone or iPad, you're going to have to put in your passcode and then it's going to ask you to put in your password again and there you go you can go on and keep backing this up so how do you know something's happening well down here below you're going to notice it says backing up tech and design 2. so right now it's doing that we're just going to let it be and once it's done we can go on and check for updates and update right here our iphone or ipad to the latest ios so again it's backing up we're just gonna let it do its thing and only once it's done backing up I suggest checking for updates don't do it before once it's done backing up you should see something like so where it's gonna tell your pictures your apps documents how much space each one takes up on your phone then we can finally go on and just check for updates so we're gonna do that right now check for updates at this point we can download only or download an update Obviously, we want to download an update. Just let it do its thing. So just tap there. We're going to see this screen popping up. Just go into next. And then just enter the passcode on your phone in order to continue on. Once you do that on your phone or your iPad, you can go on into continue. And you will see down here below, it's going to see how big that update is. So in this case, we can see that it's actually quite big, 6 gigs. It will take around 4 minutes. Of course, this can go down or up depending on your internet speed. For me, it's going to take just around the, those four minutes. It's actually true. And at this point, all we can do is just wait. Just don't disconnect. So do not unhook. I would actually advise not to even use your iPad or your iPhone at this point, whichever you're updating, because we don't want anything to go wrong. Anyways, for now, all we have to do is wait. Now, after a little bit of time on your device, on your phone or your iPad, you should see an Apple logo and a loading bar. Now, on your Mac itself, you should see something like so. It's just going to tell you that it's updating. Down here below, there's going to be that bar where you're going to see the progress. And that's about it. Just keep waiting. Next up, on your Mac, you're going to see a brief message saying that your phone has been updated. Then, on your phone itself, you're going to see a screen like so. So, I just wanted to show you that. It's going to be the same, exact same thing if uh, you're doing this on your iPad. You're going to see the exact same screen, Apple logo, loading bar. And then right here on your Mac, so if you go to Finder again, locations, if you click on your phone or iPad once it comes out again, so it's supposed to disappear for a minute, then it's going to reappear. 
once it reappears right down here below just click on it you're gonna see everything is all up to date so right now you are gonna be able to see that you are in fact in the latest software iOS of course you can check for updates again make sure that everything's good but if you do that again you should be able to see a message like so that will tell you that your phone or your iPad is in the latest iOS so that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.